everyone. Hope all is well out there in this fantastic world. Um, once again, I'm a groggy voice, which is I find quite sexy, but it's based off the medication I'm taking. So, what are we going to be talking about here today? I'm going to continue on ramping and raging, or whatever you want to call it, about a topic I find dear to my heart. Um, it's about mental health issues. I either talk about mental health on this channel, or retail, or the combination of both. So mental health is to the left, retail is to the right, and both is to the middle. But at this point of the game, I just have to keep on emphasizing that mental health is not going away for everybody, guys. It's still here, and we need to take care of the people around us who you think are having opportunities or issues, or just need to be called down and say, hey, let me help you. Let me get you the help you need. Let me take you to someone I know that can help you. This past week, I was listening to David Bowie after his, I believe it's his fifth year after his death, to the song We Can Be Heroes uh, for Just One Day, as we all know the lyrics. And that's what it's all about. You can be a hero to someone by just listening. As you all know, I do a lot of posting, either on my blog, renegaderetailer.blog, self-promotion, or on my YouTube channel, Renegade Retailer. Um, there are quite a few blogs about it. Uh, and I don't want to say the fun part, but the interesting part is when I get people from across the world reaching out to me and saying, thank you for posting what you posted. I, it resonates with me. I've been through this before, not only in my personal life, but what you're saying just comes back and haunts me because I was too afraid to talk about it. And I thank you for doing it on our behalf. That's great. I appreciate that people appreciate me doing what I'm doing but they're also afraid to bring it up to their employer, to their family, which is sick and disgusting right now. No one should be afraid to talk about what they're going through or how they're going through it. Um, being bipolar is a badge of honor for me. It's made me who I am, what I've done. Yeah, regrets, to name a few, but we go on. At the end of the day, I, I, I'm going to say I get at least two or three calls or emails a week right now saying, hey, Carrie, thank you for doing what you're doing. And I'm happy I'm doing that. But it always ends up being, Carrie, keep this confidential, please. Because what I do when I get these calls from everyone or emails, I ask them that question. Would they like to write a post or video a post and put it on the blog site? Which I get full ownership. You know, I don't own them or whatever. But they're afraid to do it because they're afraid to be recognized as coming out. And that's weird that you're coming out as being bipolar, having a mental illness. It could be schizophrenia, it could be depression, whatever it is. But they're afraid to do it because they're afraid that their employer would notice. They're afraid that their family will notice and they would be a pariah. I'm, I, maybe I'm lucky that the company I work for understands completely. I'm surrounded by some great co-workers who help me out. But at the end of the day, this has got to stop. So this post... It's a little bit of a rambling, but there's help for you guys. There's 1-800 numbers. I'm here. There's a Bell Let's Talk Day in Canada where Bell, a communication company, holds one day a year and donates a ton of money uh, to go towards these causes. But at the end of the day, North America, South America, Europe, uh, Israel, Africa, Australia, wherever you guys are, don't be afraid. Let's gang together and let's help each other by through the spirit of talking, through the spirit of video, through the spirit of communication. And that's the starting point, the stepping stone where we need to start. So I hope this got through to you guys. If you're afraid to talk, you shouldn't be. If you're afraid that your employer is going to do something, it's not the right employer for you. At the end of the day, you need to be mind healthy and mindset. That's where your health journey starts. So once again, I want to say thank you to everyone. And of course, have a phenomenal day.